finally, the day is here where I no longer have to do Boja content for it even to be somewhat of a journey to level jobs. Before patch 6.01, Boja and Zadnor were miles ahead in leveling jobs, but now with the new updates, they make dungeon spamming the same and in some cases even faster than doing Boja content. We're gonna talk about how to use dungeon spamming to level up your jobs instead of Boja because I've been very vocal about it. I do not like going back to Boja and leveling jobs. I think it is the most boring thing you could possibly do in game. Is it still faster? Very slightly, and that's only if you have all of the things that you need to run fast and the maps and the teleports to get to many skirmishes as you possibly can. Or you can just dungeon spam, learn your job, do it way quicker, and possibly get a group together and blow through all this content. Let's first talk about experience buffs. The only experience buffs that I had are the 15% squadron manual buff. You can also get this from the level three FC buff as well the armory bonus as well as the rested experience bonus having all three of these experience buffs made dungeon spamming so much funner and in some cases quicker than if i was doing boja or zadnor if you are a tank or a healer your cues are near instant so i highly recommend this way in leveling your alt jobs not only that but you will learn your job really well as well as the dungeons and since you'll be playing this content for months and months to come, I think this is giving you more pros to do it this way than to spamming old content in Boja and not learning your job and not learning your rotation and reaction times. I ran a few of the dungeons at 81, 85, and 87 with a healer and got tremendous amount of more experience in a 15 to 17 minute period than I would have got in Zadnor or Boja. Granted that if you're going in a pickup group or just random queuing that you could die, people could need to watch cutscenes and other things can occur that will make it take longer. This is why I highly recommend finding a tank or a healer depending on which job you are to run with you to make it a lot easier and a lot smoother. And that is really easy to do right now. You can just simply throw up a party finder and most of the time your group will be filled in less than a few minutes. If you're a DPS, you can still do dungeon spamming, but you will need to do other things while you're waiting for the queue to pop, which is again, easy to do right now because we have hunts and you can fate farm in between that. All of this is working towards other things in the games that you're gonna be able to spend that currency on where Boja does not offer that. All you get is tombstones, which are great, but you can get tombstones doing a million other things as well. Let's say you're a DPS waiting for your queue and you just do a couple of fates. Well, you're gonna get gemstones, which then you can unlock gemstone traders to trade in for those mats for the area. This will allow you to sell those mats on the market board for money, or if you're a crafter, you will be kind of killing two birds with one stone. I will be the biggest voice and advocator that I don't think people should be doing Boja. It's your game, you play it how you want to, but dungeon spamming and doing other things in between is just faster, funner, you're learning your job, as well as you can do it in a short amount of time. When I log in for the game, I usually do my main quest story, my leveling roulette, and my front run roulette. These three now give me about a level and a half depending on if I get Praetorium or not for the MSQ roulette. Heck, I just did MSQ for one of my level 87 jobs and it gave me an entire level Praetorium did. Not only that, because I'm using dungeon spamming to level my sage, I feel like I have an amazing grasp of the job now, where when I was trying to level it in Boja, it just wasn't clicking for me as to when to use the abilities. And when I did my first few dungeons, I had a really hard time because I didn't understand since Boja is just running around and killing things and not actually utilizing your abilities. Not only that, but when I was dungeon spamming with a group for a little while, it even cut two or three more minutes off where we were finishing dungeons in like 10 to 14 minutes depending on the dungeon. 
I had come out with a video right before patch 6.01 that is now sorely outdated. And that's why I wanted to put this video out so then you guys don't feel like you have to do Boja in order to level your jobs. You can do fates, you can do dungeon spamming, and include your hunts in that as well, and you will level all your jobs in no time. Yes, Boja might be faster if you have seven hours to level one job and all of the buffs that go with it, like the run buff and all the speed buffs, but for 50 to 70% of the casual players who play Final Fantasy XIV, dungeon spamming, I think is gonna just be quicker. Especially if you don't even have Boja unlocked yet. You don't want to have to go through the whole process of unlocking Boja just to level up jobs. I think doing this method is really going to help you balance out your playtime. And maybe you don't have a lot of playtime and you only have three or four hours to play. This is going to be far superior than jumping into Boja for three or four hours. So get out there and level up some alt battle jobs. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. A huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters because if it wasn't for you, I would not be putting out regular content. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy and Walkers and tutorials, as I will be putting out a ton in the next couple of months, then don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button down below. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy and Walker tutorials now, then you can click here.